your current weight is. Walking up to the weigh-in, I'm thinking if I don't pull the big numbers like us guys are supposed to, then the rest of these girls are going to send me packing. It's once again just kind of this blue versus black mentality, and my mom and I are by all means the underdogs. So it's like every move you make, it's just like the intensity is just growing, growing, growing. I am the biggest loser of the house, but I definitely have something to prove, and I worked hard really, really hard. And I'm just confident that my hard work paid off. Well, this is Thanksgiving. This is the time of year where we get to stop and appreciate all the good things that we have in our lives. And this Thanksgiving in particular, I know you all have a lot that you are thankful for. You've had this amazing opportunity to work with Bob and Jillian to regain control of your lives. And now there are six of you left. Looking out at the group, it seems like there is an obvious lack of balance here. There are four blue team members and two black team members. We're going to get to tonight's weigh-in. Once again, you weigh in as individuals. The two people with the lowest percentage of weight loss will fall below the yellow line. And the rest of you will vote to determine who is eliminated and who will be one of five players who will stay to compete for the Jell-O Grand Prize of a quarter of a million dollars. Let's get started. Amy, you have been the biggest loser on campus so far. Let's see how you did tonight. I'm just scared because I've come so far and I've done really well and I don't want to go home. I want to finish what I started. Amy, how are you feeling about this week? I don't know, I just, I'm nervous. It's getting down to the wire, there's six of us left. Okay, Amy, when you arrived on campus, you weighed 239 pounds. Last week, you weighed 173 pounds. Your current weight is. You don't seem thrilled by that number. It's not my usual number. <laughs> I was hoping for a six or better. Um, but, you know, I tried my best. Thanks, Amy. Thank you. I was freaking out because if I go below the yellow line, I may die um, because it's never happened to me before. So I don't really know how to react to that. You're in the 160s. I know. <laughs> Amy, you've lost five pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.89%. Heba, I know you love crunching those numbers, so we're going to get you up here next. All right. I'm walking up to the scale, and my heart is pounding out of my chest. I am, like, pretty much deaf to everything because my heart's beating so loud. That's all I can hear. And I'm just like, I think I might barf. Heba's the biggest girl in the house. She's got to pull numbers like Ed for her to stay above the yellow line. Heba, when you arrived on campus, you weighed 294 pounds. Last week, you weighed 231 pounds. Your current weight is. That's an amazing number, right? Yeah. Seven pounds. 224. 224. I'm getting close to where some of these girls were when they came in the house, and I don't feel like such a big Bessie anymore. <laughs> You've lost 70 pounds. Wow. <laughs> 70 pounds to be thankful for. It's a lot to be thankful that I will never see again. Not one pound of it. Thanks, Evan. Thank you. I am so excited that I lost seven pounds. So I come on down and I'm just looking at Vicky, Ed, and Bob, and they're like this. And Bob squeezes me so tight that I can't breathe, and he's just like seven pounds. Heba, you've lost seven pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 3.03%. Okay, that is enough to take the lead. Up next is Ed. 
In order to stay safe from elimination tonight, you need to have lost more than seven pounds. Come on up. Walking up to the scale, I'm kind of in the mindset that there's no way you're going to make it. You're just, it ain't going to happen this week, buddy. These girls are losing phenomenal amounts of weight every week, which is unheard of. So basically, that makes me the underdog. I don't know what to think about Ed's weight loss. Ed's all over the place. He has been very inconsistent. Ed, when you first arrived on campus, you weighed 335 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 262 pounds. Your current weight is. Nine pounds. Yep, feels good. Feels good. Awesome, Ed. Thank you. Thank you. I lose nine pounds. I'm like, holy moly. Thank God. Prayer does work. And I'm just like, I could be OK. Ed, you lost nine pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 3.44%, which puts you in the lead, beating out your wife, which means you are definitely safe from elimination tonight. Congratulations, Ed. Thank you. As everybody weighed and as people just kept up in the ante, up in the ante, I was just like, I'm going home tonight. I feel like this is where my luck runs out. Vicki, in order to keep yourself safe from elimination this week, you need to have lost more than five pounds. Come on up. All I was thinking was please let all the hard work that I put in this week be enough to where I'm not going to fall below the other line tonight. Because I know if I fall below, you know, I'm probably going to go home. Vicki, when you arrived on campus, you weighed 246 pounds. Last week, you weighed 187 pounds. Your current weight is. Congratulations, Vicky. Thank you. I lost seven pounds this week, and I'm pretty proud of that. You know, that's three big weeks in a row for me, and that's hard. I don't usually do that, and it's enough to keep me above that yellow line. Vicki, you lost seven pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 3.74%. Vicki, that is good enough for first place. Congratulations. Thank you. Vicki, you and Ed are both safe from elimination tonight. So now it comes down to the black team, mother, daughter, Michelle and Renee, can they do it?